Hi everyone. This presentation brings to you the detail on excretory system of Pineus indicus, the common marine prawn. The excretory organs in the case of Pineus, it is a pair of antenary glands or green glands. Antenary glands, the name has come because the these glands are present in or this is the uh, excretory system. It is present in association with the coxa of the antennae. Okay, so a pair of antennae, hence a pair of antenary glands, right? So this is the structure of antenary glands. If you look into each uh, antenary gland, this is how it looks like. Uh, each of the antenary gland it is composed of four parts. Uh, an end sac, which is a closed mesodermal sac, and this it is lined with uh, excretory cells. And then the next part, it is the labyrinth, or it is otherwise known as glandular plexus. The end sac communicates with the labyrinth through a very small opening. The labyrinth, uh, it is uh, formed of spongy glandular mass of highly coiled and branched uh, renal tubules. The space between these renal tubules are um, filled with uh, what you call the connective tissue as well as blood lacunae. Okay, and each of the renal tubule that form the that is found inside the labyrinth, it opens into the end sac through a common opening. The labyrinth it communicates with the next spacious chamber, the bladder, through a very long, highly coiled glandular tubule or glandular tube. So this glandular tube it communicates with the uh, labyrinth inside and outside with the bladder. The bladder is somewhat like the urinary bladder of uh, human beings. It stores the urine for a while till it is passed out through the renal duct and the renal opening. The renal opening opens in the coxa of the antennae. Okay, so this is uh, regarding the structure. Now, when you speak about the function, green glands, it uh, has a dual function, excretion as well as osmoregulation. Excretion, that is extraction and elimination of the nitrogenous waste produced as a result of metabolism in the cells. Then it, all, it is also involved in the removal of excess water and mineral ions that reach the body. So, um, but in the case of Pineus indicus, we can see that the uh, gills are uh, involved in excretion uh, by way of diffusion across the gills directly into the water. So gills are a major excretory organ in the case of Pineus. So the green glands, they are mainly involved in osmoregulation, which is the next function brought about by the green glands. So green glands, are, uh, it doesn't mean that green glands are not as involved in excretion, but major part of the excretion is taken up by the gills. Now what is osmoregulation? Regulation of osmotic concentration, regulation of uh, water and ionic composition. And this will help in maintaining proper volume of blood. Okay, so that particular uh, process is known as osmoregulation. The green glands are responsible for osmoregulation in the case of Pineus indicus. How this is done? The process. The process of excretion and osmoregulation it takes up uh, it takes place in two steps: the ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption. Ultrafiltration it takes place in the end sac where excess water and whatever substances from the hemolymph outside can diffuse into the end sac will get inside the end sac. Okay, so whatever substances can diffuse through the walls of the end sac, it will diffuse into the end sac and it forms an ultra filtrate. Okay, just like the in the glomerulus, what happens in the case of human kidney, the nephron, that is what happens in the end sac over here. Okay, so an ultra filtrate is formed. And this ultrafiltrate contains a huge amount of water and different kinds of products, including the nitrogenous compounds like ammonia, urea, uric acid. Okay, and this ultrafiltrate is given the name primary urine. And this primary urine, it will move into the labyrinth. In the labyrinth starts the next uh, uh, step, that is a selective reabsorption. In the labyrinth, water gets reabsorbed. It is not, the whole water is not getting reabsorbed. Whatever body requires, it is getting reabsorbed along the walls of the renal tubules into the blood lacunae. Okay, uh, and this water is getting reabsorbed. Similarly, uh, the ions which are required, for example, sodium or such kind of ions which are required by the body, it gets reabsorbed when this passes through the nephridial canal. Okay, and what passes through the renal tubule and reaches the, oh, sorry, what you call uh, the, uh, these tubule and reaches the bladder, it is what is known as the, uh, the final urine. And this final urine is passed out through the excretory port. Okay, right. Thank you.